Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to add shaders to uh, Sky Factory 4. I'll also be going through how to fix the blurry image glitch that you get when you actually load into Sky Factory 4. You'll notice all the textures are messed up when you have shaders on. Uh, it's an easy fix, it's just a little bit weird to... Like, you probably wouldn't figure it out yourself, so it's uh, helpful to maybe check out a video, or I'll even have a Reddit post in the description, which is where I found this information from. I'm just uh, making it into a video to make it more digestible, and to help out my viewers who... Uh, might want to install their own shaders after watching me use them. So, first thing you need are the shaders. So, what we want to do is we want to get Optifine. Um, so head over to optifine.net forward slash downloads. And for Sky Factory 4, I believe we're on 1.12.2. So this version down here. So you just want to find this one and click download. And it's that simple. You'll go to a different page here. Uh, it's just like an advertisement page. Uh, so in the top right corner, you want to wait for this uh, skip button to appear. Give it a few seconds. There we go. We can click skip. Should take us back to this page. And then once we hit download, the page might change again to another ad. Um, but we can go ahead and click save on our downloads. And save the Optifine. Um, we, can, we can ignore the ad. Uh, now for the shaders, what we can do... Oh, I cancelled it. It's fine. I've already got it downloaded. Um, we can head over to the SUS mod pack. I'll have this link in the description as well. Um, so this is from Sonic Ether. Now the website's been having quite a few uh, issues recently. And so when you try and download it the first time, it might not work. It might not work any time, to be honest. Um, uh, I, I guess my advice is the same advice that the uh, developer gives, which is to try different uh, mod, uh, different uh, browsers. Sorry. So try like um, Chrome. Try uh, I don't know Internet Explorer, uh, Microsoft Edge. Try different ones to see if it downloads. Because if I click download now, is it going to download? Oh, it actually did. That is the first time I've actually been able to download it in a few months now. I think. Uh, so that's really impressive. So that'll download. Uh, it looks like it's going to take a little while, so I might just pause that. I've already got it downloaded, so we don't have to worry, but that's proof that it works, which is wonderful. I haven't had that in a video yet. Normally it crashes. Um, so perfect. If it does crash for you, don't worry. There are other shaders you can go for. Um, there's a website called shadersmods.com. Uh, I'll have a link for this website in the description as well. And what you can do is you can check out CUDA shaders. This is another shader I really enjoy. Scroll down the website all the way down to about here. And there'll be download links for CUDA Shaders Pack. We want the continued version. And we want CUDA Shaders version 6.1 Legacy. So we can click this. Um, we go to this web page. And then we can click download. Then that's everything downloaded. Now, um, that'll download nice and quick. Um, as for the uh, SUS uh, shaders, these are very beautiful. And so if you are having issues, you can check on the Twitter for uh, updates in regards to the website. And in regards to other things that the uh, developer is working on, because he puts in a lot of effort and um, deserves the support. So make sure you go and check him out. Uh, the Reddit post showing you how to do this is over here. So uh, once again, link for this will be in the description as well. So make sure you check that out. And now we'll jump into it. So uh, I'll be showing you how to add it on CurseForge. So what you want to do is get your Sky Factory 4. Click on it. This will load up here. You want to find these three dots off to the right here. Click this. Then click Open Folder. That should open up this folder right here. Uh, then what you want to do first to actually install the shaders is to open up mods. And you want to paste in Optifine. Uh, so I'll grab my downloads folder. And you want to grab your Optifine. You can right click it. Click copy. In your mods folder for Sky Factory 4 you right click and you paste it in. Make sure it's in there. Version 1.12.2 HD UF5. Perfect. Now before we close this what we can do as well is make it so that the shaders will work once we load in. Uh, so what we do is click back on Sky Factory 4. So we're back on this page here that shows config, downloads, font files, mods. Uh, this might look a little bit different if you've launched the game before, because this is a fresh install for me uh, for Sky Factory 4. But what you want to do is you want to head over to config. You want to find the config folder. You want to scroll down and find topography. Topography, this folder right here. You want to open this guy up. And inside here you can see SF4, Sky Factory 4. You want to open up this one. And then down here, here we'll... Uh, whoop, I didn't mean to click that, sorry. What we can do is we can open this down so you have a better view. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to find um, the map that you're on at the moment, right? So the default map is Dirt Tree. But you want to find what map correlates to whatever map you're playing on. For me, it's Dirt Tree, so this is the one I have to edit. You want to open it up uh, in a notepad. And then what you want to do is see where it says Sky here. Sky, set Sky Render. In front of it, you want to put two forward slashes, just like these ones under here, right? You want to do the same for night and the same for day. And that's it. 
You can save it, so you can press Control S, and you can see that asterisk go away. You can go here, you can click Save that way, or you can press Close, and it should give a pop-up to ask you to save, and you click Save. Make sure it's saved. If you want to double-check, open it up again. Make sure the slashes are still there. Perfect. We can leave that, and now we're good to go. We can launch the pack-up, which I'll do. It might take me a little while, so I'll cut for when it loads, uh, and then I'll show you how to put the shaders in, and we'll test it out on uh, one of my servers, so we'll give that a shot. So I'll be right back once this hopefully loads. Alrighty, we are in. Uh, so what you want to do is head over to Options, go into your Video Settings, head down to Shaders, which is a new tab that's opened up, and click Shaders Folder. What that will open do is open up a new folder that it made in that same uh, folder we saw before, so where the config and the mods were. Now it's got Shaders, uh, Shader Packs. So you can open this up, uh, and then you just want to drag in your zip folders. So give me a second. So here we go. What I want to do is uh, I'll grab both of these. So the Sous shaders and the Cuda shaders. We'll right click these, click copy, right click in the shader packs and click paste. So here we go. Both of those are in. And as you can see, here they both are. Now I'm going to click on Sous renewed. And this is going to freeze for a little bit while it loads. Make sure you don't click on your screen while this is happening because you will most likely crash your game. Um, if that does happen, just load it back up again. You should be fine. And also make sure you do this in the main menu. Because if you do it while you're in a world, it could be very, very laggy and, and it might it might just not work. In which case, you do have to close it or make it crash uh, just to load it up again. And if you're doing that in a single player world as opposed to in a um, server, you might risk corrupting things. So best to do it in the main menu. And if you do do it, just let it happen. Give it however much time it needs. It might say not responding. Just let it happen. Don't click anything. Just give it its time. So I'll be back once this has been given its time and once it's loaded. And um, we'll load into a, a server to show you that it's all working nice and well. Alrighty, as you can see, it is loaded. All these options have bumped up. What I like to do is run my game with a render quality 1.5. So I'll do that in this setting here. What I also like to do is turn off motion blur. So once again, try to optimize as much as you know you're going to change um, in the main menu before you get into the game. Uh, I think I also like to up the color temp and we'll up this a little bit too. It's just personal preference. Obviously, you have a lot of options here that you can mess around with and work with. Um, you have similar options with CUDA shaders. It's just set up a bit differently. Uh, but here we go. We're going to click done. We're going to click done again and done again. Now, I've actually got to add the IP to my server because I don't remember it. Um, so give me a second while I load up my Discord and I'll check that out. That was also a little subtle plug. <laughs> um, so yeah, give me a second. Alrighty, here we go. I'm going to have to type it out. Um, oh, not up there. Down here. Um, 139.99252117. Shove in a colon. And do 27025. That should be it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Come on. Pinging, yes. Here we go. Here's the server. Empty at the moment, so hopefully we can get in without any issues. <laughs> One would hope. And hopefully it loads fast, uh, so that I can show you guys. Give it a second. Oop, we're almost in. Fingers crossed. And what we're looking for is none of the blurring. What I probably should have done is loaded in the game to show you the blurring. Um, but I assume if you try this um, without altering those um, the settings for the world type that you're playing on, so the sky rendering stuff. Um, ooh, also we might time out. Oh, actually no, we should be fine. Oh, yep, okay. Uh, I was scared it was going to crash, but as you can see, the sky doesn't look like it's um, the vanilla sky. We're getting a lot of not responding. Fingers crossed everything goes well. I'm a little scared. Oh, we forgot to turn particles off. And it's currently raining. Oh, wow. A really cool thing about shaders, by the way, is check out this um, once the text goes off. That part there's like dry, but this part's reflective because there's no like uh, shelter above it. How cool is that? It actually adds like a little pool of water. How cool is that? So as you can see, we're in. This is definitely not blurry like it is when you don't change those um those settings. So once again, you want to make sure that you have the right world um file edited in that uh in the config for topography. Uh, so just rewatch that part of the video if you're still not sure. Um, but this is beautiful. This is how it looks. Uh, I guess when it's raining, and you can see the water looks beautiful. Um, we're meant to have a little squid. I don't. Is he? still here? I think our little squid died, um, because he doesn't seem to be here. Maybe he just despawned. Yeah, I don't think he died. I'm sure he's somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, um, that, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing, because 
I make a lot of content related to uh, modern Minecraft, uh, and I plan to make more in the future. If you have any issues, please do let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to try and figure them out and make videos on them if I can, because uh, I like doing that. They seem to get a lot of attention, and that in return uh, brings attention to my other series and the servers, so we can get a, a little bit more population going on. Um, if you want to join the server, uh, head over to my Discord and we'll do that. Um, it's been whitelist, but in order to join, you just ask and I whitelist you. Uh, we might change that in the future to just let anyone join. Uh, the issue then is it's harder to communicate changes, because normally I do that through Discord. I let you know like um, if a mod's being buggy and we have to try and fix it or something like that. I, I'll let you know there. And, it, I mean, it stops just random attacks, you know. Someone has to go out of their way to join the Discord, ask me if they can be whitelisted. And it, it's a lot easier to keep track of, you know, who's doing what. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.